All right, so number six and our last one is understanding the difference between stomach hunger and head hunger. So just so you know, right off the bat, cravings start in the brain. Hunger starts in the stomach. So if you're sort of thinking that you would like chocolate, right, that's a craving. That's not necessarily a need. Now, I'm not saying you have to always ignore your cravings. I'm certainly not saying that. But it's important to understand the difference between actually physically being hungry and needing nutrition and simply just wanting to eat food, whether you're bored or you have intense cravings. Now, I've already talked about how to handle intense cravings in prior videos. So make sure you check out that video if you wanna learn more about how to reduce intense cravings. But when you understand that you have stomach hunger, when you can differentiate the difference between brain hunger and stomach hunger, it's gonna be a lot easier to know when you're actually hungry and when you should eat. Now I get questions all the time of when's the best time to eat, when should I eat based on this? Do what works best for you, okay? There is no specific timing of food, you know, unless you're like a, a bodybuilder or figure competitor, you don't need to worry about meal timing as much as you need to focus on getting the right amount of calories, getting the right types of foods to make losing body fat easier and to keep your calories at a moderate amount. So practice being hungry through your stomach instead of through your head. The more you can get in tune with when your stomach is hungry, when you feel that sort of growling sensation, let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes and see how you feel. And if it stays consistent, if you're consistently feeling that stomach hunger, it's a good time to eat.